So here they are talking of a new word called alloy. Probably you have come across in science. An alloy is a metal which is made up of two or more elements. And one of those elements is also a metal. Okay. So when we extract metals, then they are formed, we are they are found in the earth in a mixture form, and they need to be uh, separated. Okay. So the gold, the steel, the silver, all that we get aluminium, and all these are different metals, and they are got from alloys. Okay. So now here in this alloy, whose weight is twenty one grams, there is tin and zinc. So these two. Elements are in this alloy and they are in this ratio. Means if there is 3 grams of tin, there is 4 grams of zinc. But if there was only 3 and 4 grams, then how much would the alloy become? 7 grams. But our alloy is not 7 grams, our alloy is 21 grams. So we need to know how much of tin is there in this alloy and how much of zinc is there in this alloy so we know the total quantity and this quantity has to be divided between tin and zinc in this ratio we will get similar type of questions in the exercise as we go ahead okay so how do we do it now whenever we know the ratio with the help of this ratio we can make fractions so how much first of all we need to know total Okay, so the sum of the ratios you have to find out. Three is plus four, that is seven. So this is our denominator because we know that if tin is getting three and zinc is getting four, means totally there are seven. So what is tin's share in this? How much tin is there? Three parts out of a total of seven parts. Okay, so this is the way we get the fraction for tin. Same way for zinc. Tin is how many parts? Four parts, and the total, if then there are seven parts, zinc is four parts. Now, this 21 gram needs to be divided in this with the help of these fractions. So, what you do is actually three upon seven of 21 grams. Off means multiply, so you can write off, you write multiply, means one and the same. Now we have already learned multiplication of fraction. What do we do? We reduce the numerator and the denominator by a common number. 7 and 21 are both divisible by 7. 7 divides 7 once and it divides this 3 times. Okay. Now there is no denominator left. It's just 1 which cannot be reduced further. So what do we do? Just multiply whatever is left. 3 multiplied by 3 is 9 grams. So there is 9 grams of tin in this alloy and zinc. Now reduce 7 ones are 7 threes are 4 multiplied by 3 is 12 grams. Now when you add up both of these 9 and 12 you are supposed to get 21. So you will get 21. 9 plus 12 is 21. This is one way in which you can check if your division has been done properly okay so if your fractions are right and if you add these up after whatever you have divided you should get the total 